Mm. The honey and butter combination is like heaven. Do you ever tell yourself, man, I really am fat and unhealthy and I should stop eating candy and sweets? Of course you do. But let's save that for another day. Instead, today I'll be showing you how to make tasty candy with only one ingredient, honey. The first step is to put some honey in the pot. I'm probably going to do around one to two cups, but the beauty with this recipe is that it doesn't require a fixed amount. So for you hungry hippos out there, I'd probably recommend about double of what I'm doing. You might be asking, why is this honey so thick? It's because it comes from our very own bees in our backyard. This is local raw honey, and with time it crystallizes. That's how you know it's the real deal. We got our honey in the pot, and we're going to turn our heating element onto medium so we don't burn the honey. It should take around 10 minutes, but just to make sure, keep on checking the honey with a candy thermometer until it reads around 280 degrees Fahrenheit. In the meantime, let's butter a glass container so our sticky honey isn't so sticky. You might experience bubbling like this, but it's nothing to worry about. At least I hope not. Bingo! Now quickly, quickly, you want to get it off the heat as soon as possible and pour it right into the butter. We're going to let it rest in this buttery pan until it's cool enough to play with. Ooh, I'm too scared to even touch it right now. Our honey has now cooled down and we're going to heavily butter our hands. To put this into perspective, enough to give a pleasant massage. I'm going to grab the honey like this. Should easily come off. Maybe there's some parts that will stick to the pan. Once you got your honey in a ball like this, you're going to start slowly pulling it apart, twisting it. And this will help incorporate air into there, causing it to become lighter, softer, and just tastier. My family has been making this recipe for generations now, and it's really sad to see how the recent air pollution has been affecting the quality of our candy. I understand with the advancement in technology, this outcome is inevitable, but as a community, let's please try to make a difference. You can keep on doing this for as long as you want, but I think this is enough. We're going to roll out the candy into a long rope like this, and now just use scissors to cut it up into chunks. It's ready to eat, but before we do that, let's appreciate this golden, silky color. It really is something special. Mmm. The honey and butter combination is like heaven. It's nothing like you've ever experienced. Mmm. It's so good. 11 out of 10. Thumbs up for me. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and share it to other people. Also, check out my channel for other cool videos. But without anything further ado, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.